In this video, I'm going to show you using a Submaster or control track in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to create some Submasters or control tracks to use with these tracks. Now, you might be thinking it's similar to folder tracks, but it's really pretty different, as folder tracks have their audio from the child tracks going through the folder track, allowing us to add processing to the folder track to treat the entire group. We can't do that with submasters. This is really meant to just control the other tracks as no audio goes through the submaster, as you'll see. But it's still very useful for controlling our tracks as a group. So in this project, I have some drum tracks, some bass tracks, and guitar tracks. And I want to create a submaster for each. So I'll start off by creating a new track. Let's put it up here and let's name it drums. And this will be the submaster for our drums. Then I'm going to hit Shift G, which opens up grouping for this track. I'll use group one and I'm going to set it up for lead, as it's going to be a master for the other tracks. Now we could rename this group to drums, but I'm not going to bother with that now. We could always do that later. Then I'm going to select the drum tracks and choose follow. So these tracks are going to follow this track. So now, if we open our mixer, we can see all our faders. Here's the drum tracks, and here's our submaster for the drums. So if we move this track, all well, the drum tracks move together as a group. But we can still move these tracks independently. I could adjust my kick, my snare, and my overheads completely separate from the others in the group. But if I want to control them as a group, as drums, I would do that right from here. And one of the nice things about this feature is we can reset our group back to zero at any point. Let's say we bring it down and we like them right here. We can hold on the shift key and double click the master and it resets to zero without affecting these tracks. As holding the shift key disables grouping. So if it's nice and low, we want to reset it to zero, hold the shift key and double click. And it's reset back to zero again. So let's do the same thing for our bass and guitars. But first, because the drum track has no audio on it, we don't need to see it in the track control panel. So we can open up the track manager, control shift M on the PC and command shift M on the Mac. And we can take the drums submaster out of the track control panel. So we're not seeing it over here, but we're still seeing it in the mixer. So let's make a new track for our bass. Name it bass. Just do the same thing with this. Hit Shift G, but make sure we choose group two for the bass. Make this a lead track and make these tracks follow tracks. And again, we can go to the track manager, take the bass track out of the track control panel. So it doesn't show up in here, but it does show up over here. And again, you can use the bass track as a bass submaster to control both tracks at the same time, but still adjust my DI and my amp track separately and reset it if I need to right here. And let's do the same thing with our guitars. Make a new track, name it Guitars, Shift G, set this up as Group 3, make it a lead track, and make these tracks follow tracks. Again, open the track manager, hide it for the track control panel, and it still shows up over here. Controls all the guitars, but we can still control the guitars individually. Reset it by holding down shift and double clicking to reset the submaster back to zero. And we could also automate with this. So I can go to this track, switch it to touch mode, and all the bass tracks go to touch mode together. So we can write automation on the submaster, but still write it separately on the individual tracks. And because these tracks aren't folders, they don't need to be next to the individual tracks. So we could put the submasters all together to the left and control them as groups. So we can mix the drums the bass and the guitars from this submaster over here. 
And if we need to adjust the individual tracks, we can still do that over here. Adjust those to taste and as groups over here. So that's pretty much it. That's using a submaster or controller tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Bingo boys, let's go.